Okay, welcome back. Uh, in my last video, I covered hall systems. Uh, one to one, a three to one, and a five to one. Well, in this video, I'm gonna cover the evens, which are the two to one, the four to one, and the six to one. Um, <clears throat> the easiest way to tell a difference between an odd and an even is that the evens will always terminate at the anchor, just like this right here. So, um, I've got a figure eight on a bite terminating into the anchor and let's go ahead and follow this line to see where I end up at. <clears throat> So on a two to one, which is what we're doing right now here, and this is going to be our load right here, which is nothing more than that log. And it's going to go up that tree, but I've terminated that with a knot, but, uh, so don't, don't worry about this part, worry about from this part backwards. Okay. So this is a two to one. So if I pull on the tail on this, you can see my log going up. And theoretically, this should have cut in half the amount of effort it takes to raise that log. Okay, and it's also going to take two times the length. So for every foot that log goes up that tree, I'm going to have to pull two feet. Okay, now, but you always will have a movable pulley at your object being lifted. Uh, with a an even system okay now the, the first problem you're going to see is is that if I let go of this there's no load capture now is there okay so we're going to fix that and we want to put it on this side right here okay so we're going to do a just like the other systems we'll do a triple wrap make sure you set your prusik and then we'll come over here and then we will go ahead and put it into our carabiner okay and then we can rotate this carabiner to make sure everything loads correctly okay so that's what you're going to end up with so let's go back over here let's pull on our tail now, as we raise this log, when we let go, that's going to stop because our progress capture with this prusik has caught it. Okay, so this is a simple two to one. You're going to terminate at the anchor, and then you're going to have a movable pulley at the object being lifted. All right, now, sometimes it is not feasible to have our load capture at the object being lifted. Uh, sometimes, unless you have somebody in there manning it to monitor this, um, for different systems, you might have to go up and down. So if you have nobody here, you can only go in one direction, right? So let's go ahead and take this off. And here's another option to take care of that issue. Okay, so we're going to leave our movable pulley. We're going to take this off. And we're going to go back to our anchor. Is we're going to put another pulley in here and again we're using an anchor plate for 
anytime you can use an anchor plate use one because they're very handy okay so um, this is just a change of direction pulley it offers zero mechanical help here so but again we have <clears throat> the issue with having to put a, a capture device in here and again we're going to put it right here and we'll do a triple wrap okay and then we're going to put it into our carabiner and we can rotate that carabiner so everything matches up okay so this is going to be prusik mining pulley again so this time we can change directions and as we lift we can let off and then our capture device will, will stop it but we still have our movable pulley down there so this is still a two to one but it has a change of direction pulley at the anchor if we can't use our progress capture at the load okay so now that's basically it for a two to one we're going to move on to a four to one now in the field tying a four to one on this kind of system really isn't practical it doesn't work very well um, so what we do in the rescue world is we substitute a set of fours and this right here is a set of fours it's a four to one okay and it's an independent system and some of you may be thinking it looks awfully like the five to one we tied in the other video but as you can see it's terminated at the anchor um, that's a dead giveaway this is a four to one okay and the way this works it's in free spool right now I can let it out it's just a pulley block system okay and then it has this little device right here in this particular model that I can capture all my progress okay so if I want to free spool I do that right there so this is the most common way we use a four to one in the field all right so how would we use that basically we would clip in here grab a prusik and then we would want to let it all out give us our give ourselves the maximum amount of throw okay find the strand you want to pull go ahead and tie your triple prusik on there clip in okay if we want to capture our progress I'm gonna flip that over and now I use my independent set of fours my four to one to pull and if, just like that okay so there's a set of fours almost always you'll see rescue crews carry this independently so I'm going to go ahead and let that out and then I'm going to go ahead and clip alright so there's an example 
of a set of fours, four to one. We'll hang this back up. In case we need it. All right, now let's talk about a six to one. A six to one is nothing more than a three to one on a two to one, okay? And whenever you have those systems come together, you're gonna multiply, so two times three is six. And if you look, we already have a two to one in place with a change of direction. But if you remember from the video of a three to one, this is half a three to one right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this system here a three to one and that will create a six to one because of our movable pulley down there. Okay, so we'll need a, another pulley. We already have our prusik tied. load our pulley okay and now if you can visualize it we have a three to one with our load capture onto a two to one so let's go down from the very beginning it's terminated at the anchor that strand goes all the way to our load we have a movable pulley the tail of that, which we would pull, has been converted into a three to one. Okay, so this now is a six to one. And you can see my log going up the tree. And just like the three to one, I showed you in the last video, when our pulleys collapse, we wanna let our progress capture lock and then we can grab this and reset our system. And normally you wanna reset this as long as you can go. Okay, let's just stop there. And then I just walk back. And let's watch our log go up the hill, up the tree. And this is a six to one haul system. And we'll let our progress capture grab again. And I'll stop and pause and let you guys look at it. And you can see how far we've advanced that orange rope and how far our log is up in the tree. Okay. That's a two to one, a four to one, and a six to one. I hope this helps. See you on the next one.